Stephen Gardner wins the 400 meters at the Rabat Diamond League in a time of 44.70 seconds to beat out Werner Norwood of the United States, who was second with 45.11 seconds, and Rasheen McDonald of Jamaica was third with 45.55 seconds. What do you think about Stephen Gardner's consistency over the 400 meters this season? Stephen Gardner of the Bahamas has been the world's most dominant 400 meters runner since 2018. He has never lost a race that he has completed within the last five seasons and is slowly cementing himself as one of the greatest 400 meters runners of all time. The world first got to see the tall and lanky Stephen Gardner earn silver in the 400 meters behind world record holder Wade Van Nerkirk at the 2017 London World Championships. Since that performance, he has become one of the main athletes to watch in the 400 meters. Stephen Gardner has also proven himself as a quality 200 meters runner when he ran a Bahamian national record of 19.75 seconds in 2018. Gardner went on a trajectory of winning both the 2019 Doha World Championship and Tokyo 2021 Olympic titles in the 400 meters. These performances make him the sixth fastest man behind the likes of Grenada's Kirani James and South Africa's Wade Van Nerkirk in this event, along with Americans Michael Johnson, Jeremy Warriner, and LaShawn Merritt to have won both the world and Olympic titles in the 400 meters. Fans were excited to see Stephen Gardner defend his world championship title at last year's Eugene World Championships. Unfortunately, Gardner became injured during the week of the world championship, which led him to withdraw from the event. Michael Mormon of the United States won the world championship title and Kirani James placed second, while Matthew Hudson Smith of Great Britain was third. Stephen Gardner has been eager to return to the sport and to regain his dominance as the world's most dominant 400 meters runner. He began his 2023 400 meters campaign at the Bermuda Grand Prix, where he won the event in a time of 44.42 seconds. Gardner was quite happy with this performance and was ready to take on his next mission in Rabat at the Rabat Diamond League. Stephen Gardner entered the competition as the overwhelming favorite with the intention of winning and was not necessarily searching for a fast time despite the World Championship bronze medalist Matthew Hudson Smith being there. The gun struck and Matthew Hudson Smith got the best start but pulled up after the first 50 meters which made Stephen Gardner take over the lead. Gardner continued to run comfortably and closed down after the final curve. He jogged across the line in a time of 44.70 seconds to win the race. Werner Norwood of the United States was second with 45.11 seconds and Rasheen McDonald of Jamaica was third with 45.55 seconds to rule out the top three finishers. Stephen Gardner looks to be getting better and is aiming to return to the podium at the Budapest World Championships. Do you think Stephen Gardner will win a medal in the 400 meters at the Budapest World Championship? Stay tuned to Jairi Caribbean Sports as we bring you all the actions from this season's track and field season. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell as we celebrate the achievements of all our Caribbean athletes together. This is Jairi Caribbean Sports.